it is not about the recovery and uh, it is not about the resting heart rate or uh, increased hrv if you don't drink alcohol yes that also matters but So we are approaching Yelgava to the start of the second race for today, which is a 10k. It's uh, 2050 and the start will be at 22.10. So uh, the name of the race is uh, Yelgava's uh, post marathons, which means uh, half marathon. So there are three, three events, uh, 5k, 10k and uh, half marathon. And the interesting thing will be to see how uh, the earlier 1500 meters on the track uh, will affect my performance. And also, I will further check the theory how uh, zero alcohol for the previous three months affects the performance. So we see how it goes. That's our new look. Insta360 Go 3S. Much more convenient. Weight savings. We see how it performs in the night.
All right, I am extremely happy with the race results and this is a win to me as uh, I was always looking for a smart way to increase the performance and to become a better runner and the uh, increase of the volume was not uh, the good idea to me. I was always against it and I was looking for a particularly uh, interesting way to uh, boost the performance and so I have found it. Uh, two PRs, one day 1500 meters and 10k road racing and uh, the contributing factor was that uh, for the last three months I was uh, completely zero alcohol and uh, although the uh, reduction in alcohol uh, certainly uh, increases your uh, recovery and uh, lowers your resting heart rate and increases your HRV and those are important but uh, the game changer for me was the zero alcohol it uh, turns out that uh, the alcohol actually inhibits your anabolic response in the muscles and so I will read it uh, and I will also post the findings somewhere here uh, we provide novel data demonstrating that alcohol consumption uh, reduces rates of uh, myofibrillar protein synthesis following a bout of concurrent exercise even when co-ingested with protein and so we conclude that alcohol ingestion suppresses the anabolic response in skeletal muscle and may therefore impair recovery and adaptation to training and or subsequent uh, performance performance and so what I have also noticed that I have uh, so much more power for faster and shorter repeats and uh, earlier I could struggle in the last K or last uh, 400 meters of the 10K race and it was extremely difficult uh, for me to uh, uh, build up the speed uh, or uh, to complete it with a sprint finish and now as you can see from the earlier footage that I was uh, full power full blast uh, for the last 100 or 200 meters and this is so much fun so I have the uh, longer distance events, uh, half marathon and the full marathon later in September. So I am very interested and curious to see how this would uh, translate into the longer distance running. So stay with me. Thank you.